What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another thrilling episode of Tales of the Towering Timbers. How is how's everybody doing today? Everybody doing good? Yeah. I mean, it's Monday, but we got DD, so it helps, right? Makes Monday a little bit better, you know. I could not agree more. Sorry, I had to turn my hardware acceleration off. Do uh, so. Who remembers what happened last time? Oh, I remember very well. Very well. Casey, Casey ditched us. Oh, then, uh, I did what? Oh, he left us, man. <laughs> I do want the record to state that I just walked in there and the chief is like, here's my social security number, here's my birth certificate, here's my best friend, here's my family. And I would just like to point out the root cause of the issue, which is you going here. <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> the root cause is always the most important factor. Mm -hmm. Always. You know, I'm just happy to hear that Gus did not actually cause this <laughs> issue, so. It's a you know? It's true, Gus. Gus had nothing to do with the situation at hand. He's exhausted. He was tripping balls earlier. Uh, you know, you guys took a, a, a pretty decent journey from uh, the lily pad at Lily's Lake down to the downtown of Wellgrove. Uh, you guys got some, some snippets of things. Uh, through the, the north side of the city as you traveled your way down. Uh, those things included uh, teachers teaching kids, uh, a doctor's office uh, with people protesting outside, a uh, factory where one of the workers was just brutally murdered by a uh, renegade saw blade. Uh, and nobody seemed to even blink an eye at it. Um, on the way there, uh, Succus, who had also been having a really fun day, uh, caught wind of something and took off. Uh, so he is uh, he's currently MIA as far as the the main part of the party is concerned. Uh, I, I said the main part of the party. The, the biggest group is is concerned. Uh, no, I, we're the main characters. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and I uh, had a little... Uh, I, I let Succus know what, what he was doing uh, in his little wayward path. Uh, but when you guys made it to the... Uh, town square uh under the the guide of alfon uh he picked up a package from a mysterious individual that um came dropped package off uh alfon came picked it up and and he said he has somewhere to drop it off on the way back you guys were about to leave out of the town square when all of a sudden on the side of the building, a big hologram-esque image uh, that looked very, 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 very much like Adam's sister up on the, the building, uh, explaining how applications to join the OA were closed for the day. And uh, thank you. Come back. Try again tomorrow. Upon seeing that visual up on the building uh and said i i gotta go in there uh against arathar's suggestion to not uh that is that is where where we went you guys entered into oa headquarters were met by a little halfling receptionist uh there was a little back and forth. Adam tried to uh, 
give her a little a little bribe she informed him that uh there was a different coin than the standard gold piece that he carried with him that they used and that they would need to wait uh at which time erithar went up and showed his orzov brand and around erithar and swooped him up and took him away as that happened uh the doors behind the receptionist opened up and two burly figures a bugbear and half orc came waltzing out of the door cracking their knuckles and walking forward. But before we get to what's going on there, we're going to join Arathar as he's transported somewhere unknown, presumably still in the building. Actually, here we'll do that. So you guys are on uh, this map here. And then we'll take Arathar and put him up here. Arathar, you find yourself in this massive chamber, stone walls, uh, candle lit. There is pretty nice ornate looking doors. And one that you are motioned to as your captors zap away. Above that door, in between these two massive statues, says the Alabaster Office. Can you see? Uh, can you see what's going on over there? Yes. Yes, I can. What do you do? Give me, give me, a, I'm, I'm, give me a second. Give me a second. Um. I guess I'm always doing spells. I'll just go in. I'll just go in. All right. You should be able to uh, click on that little door and be there and move your character on there. Oh, right on. That's cool. As you enter, the opulent chamber exudes an aura of power and control as the five Obzadot members sit around a table. As you walk in, one of them peers up. Our prodigal member returns to us, albeit with a lingering sense dissatisfaction among us your absence has tested our patience another chimes in while we harbor reservations about your prolonged disappearance we recognize the value you possess as a formidable asset a third chimes in the expansion of our influence beyond ravnica has been both rewarding and demanding your timely return, albeit enigmatic, 
may yet serve our greater plans. As the, the members nod, uh, the fourth speaks up. We find solace in the fact that your reappearance aligns with our ambitions. The Bloodstone Key is a relic of immense power, and you shall be our pawn in acquiring it. The fifth, your unique capabilities, honed over centuries, make you an ideal instrument for the retrieval of the Bloodstone Key. Hmm, yes. We shall harness your skills for our benefit. At this moment, you kind of peer past them and you see that there's this lit fireplace and these two chairs sitting in front of the, of the fireplace. On one of them, you see this, uh, just a hand, someone obviously sitting in in the chair. Uh, the, the first member speaks up again. We entrust you with this mission, but let it be known that our expectations are high. A failure shall not be tolerated. And the second one chimes in again. Retrieve the Bloodstone Key, and you shall prove your worth to the Syndicate once again. A successful endeavor will go a long way towards amending our sentiments, won't it? The, the members nod. The third. Retrieve. The, the power of the Bloodstone Key is unparalleled. Its acquisition will grant us... Further dominion over this plane, solidifying our rule and crushing any opposition. Yes. The fourth. Your journey begins now. You will venture into the unexplored corners of this city, unravel the secrets, and you will secure the Bloodstone Key for us. Remember, it is our path to absolute control. The fifth, once again, as you undertake this quest, bear in mind that your loyalty to the Syndicate is paramount. Fulfill your role diligently, and rewards worthy of your services shall follow. The Bloodstone Key is here in the city. Yes. At least another. What do you know of Bloodstone Keys? No more than I've been told. Which is? Source of great magic. Indeed, indeed. But the question, Arathar, will you retrieve this or not? I will. Wise choice. To that, the persons in the chair chimes in where have you been that answer is a lot more complicated than you might think well please elaborate If you would like, you can uh, give me just like a vibe of what you're trying to relay and how you try to tell your story. Uh, and I will decide whether it's persuasion, deception, whatever, whatever you want to, to do as, as Arathar.
it's more it would be more deception because I don't want to mention a god. I don't want to mention time travel. Okay. And that doesn't very <laughs> that doesn't leave a whole lot of a lot of reasons places I would have been because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> you know? Fair, fair enough. Uh okay, yeah. Go ahead. Give me give me a uh, give me a deception roll. As you finish telling your tale. For my deception, can I just say I was forbidden to speak it? Uh, sure. Uh, so I don't give them anything? Yeah. Uh, so you want to just t- literally just say that you I was can't say, say anything? I can't say. I can't say even to them. Okay. Or my life would be on the line. Uh, He responds. Your life is on the line right now, young Aretha. One path is certain death. The other is a possibility. I'll take the possibility. Await our instructions, Arathar. We will find you. Very well. Uh, as you leave the leave the chamber and uh, head back into the uh, the big open open space, uh, there is a black dragonborn there waiting for you, uh, and he just like gives you a good solid stare down it says follow me I don't say anything I just follow and at that we will head back down the tower to our reception area and we'll go ahead and put your token back with the rest of the players so that way you can see what's going on too. I was just stressed. I don't know. If you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fucking sweet line though. God damn, dude. <laughs> uh, Adam and Gus, uh, you guys see these two uh, emerge from the, the golden doorway behind them. Uh, and they walk up behind the receptionist. Everything fine here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, these guys were with uh, the one that just got brought up. Uh, and they kind of look over at you guys. Uh, they're just putting off real big uh, real real BDE going out of these guys right now um, 
as they stand towering over this this halfling sitting at at her desk. Uh, what's going through your guys' mind right now? Uh, they use magic pretty openly. That's interesting. And kind of like dangerously? You should just walked up some stairs. Don't need to do that teleporting if it's that rare. That's interesting. Uh, also, like, what the fuck is my sister doing here still? Sure. Pretty much on the forefront of my mind. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, what about what about you, Gus? Uh, I was I was hoping that a uh, cup of would just come down. And I was just I, I was basically just ready to 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 kind of I'm ready to fight something. But at the same time, I'm also just dead exhausted. I'm ready for bed. So they they remain there behind uh, the the receptionist, and just like arms crossed, they're just staring you guys down. Uh, it's like that for roughly five minutes or so. Uh, do you guys do anything other than, than wait? I'm going to give it a blessing to uh, to Aiden. Uh, just for it, in, in case we ha need initiative to learn the You guys uh, good over there? Mm. You good? You know, I don't know. Well, you can always pray about it, eh? And he, like, nu the bugbear nudges the the orc, uh, motions over to uh, one of the giant statues, uh, and the, the giant, like, bowl in front of it. I'm not much of a praying type, but, you know, you want to pass some time? Before we wait. What you got in mind, little man? Any game to chance or anything? Not on the clock. Oh, come on. No games here. You're working so hard, though. I give you this much attitude, miss? Uh, our conversation was brief. And, and as she says that, the the door into the reception area, uh, the one that you guys came through, <laughs> comes slamming open. Uh, Succus, will you give me a... Uh, either survival perception or investigation check up to you survival okay oh perfect uh so you are trailing Arya all the way through the town square uh, you see Alphon standing on the rim of a fountain in the middle of the town square and he is looking at the OA tower which is where Arya just busted the door going, going into uh, what do you do? Um, how how far is that one away from the door? Uh, he's 
he's a, he's a good the the, the town square is is massive um gotcha. yeah so and the the, the uh, fountain is just in, in the center of it he's just like standing on the edge to get a better view of everything around uh but yeah his eyes are locked on that uh that helps how far away am I from from that build? Uh, I'd say you're about uh, 200 feet away. I'd say Alphonse probably like 150 feet away. I'm um, just kind of at a like a kitty quarter angle. Like from from you, I mean. Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep uh, pursuing towards that, that uh, building. Uh, okay. But uh, trying trying to stay a little bit low, like keeping an eye on Alpha. Uh, okay. Give me a uh, give me a give me a stealth check to to swoop swoop in there past Alphonse's view. Ooh, twenty one. He got a nineteen. So you you were able to to slip in uh slip in without without a view uh but let me get to what happens as she comes in before we put you in um Adam and, and gus you guys are kind of waiting there little 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 small talk with uh with our our suited enforcers if you will as this uh girl with hair that is just constantly like changing colors uh she has these fox ears and a little fox tail and she comes sauntering up to the desk uh vis visibly frustrated uh she approaches the reception desk um and the the receptionist kind of like rolls her eyes a little bit as you as she comes in uh looks up uh, from her desk as as she approaches. Oh my, if it isn't our beloved pop diva gracing us with her presence once again. Uh, what brings you back, Arya? Another trivial complaint, I assume. Uh, Arya, pretty irritated at that. Spare me the condensation. I demand to see Cabin Bone immediately. My fans deserve better treatment and I will not be ignored receptionist <laughs> oh how endearing your fans certainly adore your dramatic flair uh, i'll tell you what well let's just get the door open for you just don't expect uh, any miracles uh, she leans back uh the the two guys there kind of separate a little bit so she can view the door as she waves her hand and the the door pops open just the just the slightest little bit uh Arya visibly just like rolling her eyes finally some progress make sure cabin bone knows the urgency of this matter i won't be brushed aside to that the receptionist kind of smirks i'll do my best to get you your precious meeting but remember Arya, not everyone can have things their way all the time Arya, oh you're such a delight aren't you i'll remember to send you an autograph photo once i sorted this mess out the receptionist totally faking gratitude just oh how thoughtful of you i'll cherish it forever now off you go Cabin Bone awaits as uh, Arya kind of walks 
by reluctantly, I'm sure. Uh, Arya strides past the, the reception area through the open door. Um, give me a... Uh, either investigation or perception, uh, Gus and Adam. Gosh, excuse me. Okay, so as the the door opens, um, Adam, you notice that both of the uh, both of the enforcers are like just watching her walk by and, and through the door. Um, one of them's like pulling at his collar, like. Uh, as she opens the door, you see into that room beyond the door. And see these really extravagant ornate pillars uh, that don't, you see no end. Like the ceiling in this next room is high. Um, you notice that on the walls behind is, uh, this very ornate gold walls back there, basically, uh, Gus, you see those things as well. Um, you also know through your investigation that, uh, those are not just any ornate symbols. Those are like holy symbols. Um, there is some sort of association with some form of church through this, this place. Um, at least that's what's on the walls. Uh, as she is entering through the door, uh, Succus comes sliding in and closes the door behind him. Is he visible to us? How fast that too? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, he is. Uh, it's so perfect to be still. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, he was able to, uh, navigate past Alphon, uh, however, it's hard to stealth when there's nothing, to, nothing to hide behind. Uh, so yeah, you have clear line of sight on Succus. Uh, Succus, you come in and you're like, oh, uh, and you see, uh, see your friends there that you had left behind just a while before. What do you guys do? Our time showed up. Uh, you guys in line to get an autograph too? Uh, welcome to OA headquarters. What can I do for you? Fellas, I was supposed to be off like a half hour ago. Like what's come on hey I tried making this quick just saying uh, she was talking to the the enforcers oh. right behind it yeah I still say it. Yeah. she just kind of shoots a glance at you like D don't just don't <laughs> uh, and then she motions to, to you Suckus can I help you um, yeah, there was like a fox lady, Arya, that came in this building. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, 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 what about her? 
Do you... uh, I'm a big fan. I just wanted to meet her. Right. Um, okay. Well, I'm sure that if you wait around long enough, you can speak to her manager and maybe get something set up that way. I, I'm not in control. Of, of her schedule. Do you have any other business here at LA? Uh, no, first time. Uh, w- welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you would like, you can take a seat. Uh, we'll, we'll do. And she turns around. Guys, seriously, like, I, are, are you guys like covering out here or uh and they kind of look down like yeah we just yeah we're 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 here so you can leave which uh, thank the gods and to that one of them like she's like uh right uh yeah, see you guys tomorrow. I'm kind of sucking up her her belongings and uh, goes to uh, walk out the front door. Uh, to which she uh, waves to. Uh, Adam and Gus, like, uh, good luck. Uh, for what it's worth, I hope your friend comes back. Oh, he will. Have a good night. Wait, why it, wouldn't he come it, back? Just, <laughs> and walks out the door. Uh, as she leaves, both of uh, the the bugbear and the ogre kind of go to either side of the desk and uh, uh, resume their their tough guy stance. Uh, so ref- I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, the them teleporting in. Was it with a rock that they had, or did, did they just teleport it? I don't remember, like, what the... Uh, it was with some bolts of lightning, uh, electricity, like, flowing around them that they uh, zapped in and uh, zapped out with Erithar. Gotcha. Uh, uh, can I go... Can I go... And initiate some conversation? Yeah, what do you... What do you... What do you say? Uh, that was a fancy little little trick you guys had uh, coming in kind of on that lightning stuff. I'm sorry, what? You're, you're lightning Thor, right? You're... Oh. Oh. You just, you just poof, poof in places? That's, that's a yeah. pretty, pretty cool trick. That's, that's not me being... Me and me mate over here. That's that's not us. You were. Uh, there was there was there was more of you here then. Yes. Oh. I see. That's that's unfortunate. Most people that that get taken out by uh, by the big guys, they uh, well, they're not not really seen again a lot of times. Yeah, well, we aren't most people. Uh, it's around this time, uh, Arathar, you are escorted by the Black Dragonborn. Uh, down a set of stairs 
uh, and you pass uh, this girl with color changing hair as she is uh, storming past you uh, towards the opposite stairwell. Uh, where are you? Oh, here you are. Uh, the Black Dragonborn uh, walks you to the uh, golden door between the pillars where you are on the other side of the door. To see uh, these two brutes in suits uh, talking to Gus and Adam, uh, while Succus uh, sits there in a chair on the other side of the room. Uh, what do you do? Seeing my two my two party members here, and seeing Succus over here, I'm relieved to see Succus. I'm just going to walk at a confident steady pace all the way to the door and then I pass by by my two friends here Gus and Adam uh -huh. we need to leave right now I motion over to Gus or suck it sorry that we need to go and I walk out. I, I'm gonna pretend I don't know Erebar and uh, ask uh, you just came from behind that door. Did, did you see Arya? Did I see who? Uh, never mind. The Orga. You don't know Arya! Should I? She's only the most lovely, beautiful creature to ever grace the entire cosmos. She, voice of an angel, I tell you. Do you seen a sun for us? No. Oh, I'm sorry, me. You, you want? Yeah, you. you want, oh no, that's. Uh, not, I don't have the voice of an angel. I have the voice of sandpaper. You know, it's not that bad. Uh, not a work. And by the way, I told you we're not just anybody. I can follow. I guess they're out. I'm sure we'll uh, see each other soon. And then I'll just start walking up. Uh, hey, what uh, what was it you two was waiting around for? Oh, you'll find out one day. Well, well that uh, seems ominous. Don't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, but it's kind of cool, right? And I walked out the door. Uh, all right. Uh, Gus, are you? Do you walk out with with Adam? Yeah, I'll just. I'm. I'm tired. I'll. I'll just. I don't need the last one. I'll just walk out. And uh, Secus, you're waiting around, or are you gonna? Uh, I'm gonna get up there and uh, walk a little closer. And, uh, uh, I'll. We'll go ahead and ask generally to the two. Uh, do, do you guys have like uh, business hours or like uh, contact info? I can come back later. Uh, well, sure. I mean, uh, uh, OA headquarters is 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 open twenty twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, we are in charge of the 
first night shift uh any prayers or questions uh can be answered by paying your dues here and he motions towards the uh the just this massive like bowl in front of the the statues uh, gotcha. Um, what exactly do we pay in the dues? Oh, well, you know, anybody that uh, has any sort of uh, ill will or anything that they think might, might be happening around them, uh, you know, they can ask for forgiveness with a small monetary donation. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay. Um, I, I, uh, I'll swing back by later. See if I, I uh, catch Ari at a better time. Yeah, she got uh, she got a lot of shows down in the in the south side. I'm sure that if you make your way down down that direction at some point, you'll be able to catch one of the shows at least. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Yeah, ha have a good day, Mike. Uh, you too. Is it, is Arathar still in the doorway, or is, has he already left the building? Uh, I think everybody is, was on their way out, full, out the fully out, yeah. yeah. So he just stands in the doorway. <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes. We gotta go, guys. Superhero <laughs> pose in the doorway. <laughs> Uh, seeing all of you come out, uh, Al you guys do see Alphon like eyes wide, kind of taken back, uh, hops down off the the fountain, uh, and is not running but making his way in your guys' direction. So that went well. Coven Bane is in there. We just got extremely lucky. All according to plan. We shouldn't talk about it here. Were you able to find anything about your sister? Nope. I'm sorry about that. Oh. What did you find? Again. We shouldn't talk about that here. That's fair. Uh, Alphon f gets to you guys at like the bottom of the stairs leading up to the, the door to the OA tower. Uh, I, I, I'm shocked. I, what, what happened in there? Uh, met kind of rude halfling. And some not very fun bodyguards. That's that's it. You guys just you guys just just like just just went inside and and oh, what 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 did you tell him? We didn't really have to tell him that much. And. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't mean to pry. Uh, I'm very glad you all are, are, are back out on on this side of those doors. Uh, and oh, and suck us. Uh, well, welcome back. Uh, yeah, good to be back. Why does everyone keep being so surprised that we came out of there? I'm just curious why you guys were there. Oh, we'll talk about it soon. Uh, in, we, uh, I have so many questions. Uh, are you, are you guys, uh, are, are we, are we staying in, in downtown? Is that your, I, I'm just, 
I do have this package I need to deliver. Yes, yes, we are. We are. We are with you now. I think we need it to someplace uh, secure so we can talk. Uh, as you guys say that, uh, and turn away from uh, the OA, um, you guys start to walk, and you get to the edge of the uh, the the town square, and uh, you all hear this sound of uh, sounds like rocks, like tumbling down a hill, coming from the OA building. And you guys turn to see what it is and what looked to be like giant statues outside the building uh, stand up and stand stand guard in front of the, the doors, leaving just like uh, a five foot space in between them. Uh, every you look around uh, to the rest of the people at the in in the in the square, uh, and none of them are even acting like this is out of the ordinary in the slightest. Uh, do you guys continue on, Alphon? What is that? Oh, those, uh, well, they, they, they protect the, the tower. They are the first line of defense, if you will. There's no, uh, they, they guard the tower. What are they called? Well, they're called, uh, Orzov Giants, I believe. What are they made out of? Oh, well, uh, it looks like those are the ones, uh, they're, well, they're, it looks like they're made out of stone. Are they alive? Oh, yes. So you said first line of defense? They need more than that? I don't claim to know what goes on beyond those doors. I know that there is great power in the OA. Presumably great secrets as well. Oh, well, we know that for sure. To be off then. Lead the way. As you guys leave the square, uh, you notice that the the sun is kind of kind of getting lower. Uh, it's not quite dusk yet but it's getting close you guys have a long walk back after two and a half hours of, of walking uh, you guys come up to a garage of sorts well looks like I uh, forgot to put the lighting and stuff on this one so we're just gonna see everything all at once it's still daylight my immersion let's get, let's get you guys on this map here
Uh, as you guys walk up the the path, you go past what looks to be like a an office building. Um, past this this big double doored garage with these uh, vehicles in inside it, with uh, these long arms that uh, aren't doing anything at the moment, as these vehicles are all stationary. Um, but as you continue past those into a uh, smaller little garage, uh, you are greeted by Bim. As she ex- exclaims, oh, 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 they're, they're here. These are, these, these are them. This is who I was, this is who I was telling you about. Uh, and she is speaking to uh, a little gnome. Hello, name's Tink. Welcome to my garage. What's a marathon? What's a garage? Uh... Well, it's it's this. It's, uh, I I work on the machines here. I'm just fixing this one up right now. Uh, and she uh, kind of walks over to this uh, like lift thing and uh, pulls on this lever as it raises up into the air so she can get under it. Uh, Alphon, uh, goes over to Tink and hands her the bag, uh, to which she re- replies, Ah, oh, thanks, Pops. Uh, you're welcome, little one. And he gives her a little tap on the head. Uh, Tink's like, Oh, it, what? I can't believe you guys are here. This is. This is great timing. Uh, Tink, do you, do you, you, you have, you have, you have, you have enough still, right? She's like, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're in the office. You can go grab them real quick. Uh, Bim like goes running out of the, 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 the garage, um, towards the office. Um, Alfon looks at, uh, the, the machine she's working on and the, like the skeleton of one behind him. Still working on these blasted machines. Oh, they're not that bad. No, but what what they do with them is tragic tragedy. It's like, I I know you don't like them. I, but it's how I've been able to build this life for myself we've gone over this yeah i i know um i'm just glad you're safe uh, and as you guys like look at Alphon, there's like a he's not crying but like his eyes are are watering um he's very passionate about something um bim comes running back uh, or she's gone for about two minutes. Do you guys want to say anything to Alphon to uh, tank this this new person? What does this machine do? Uh, oh, this one in particular. Uh, I'm about to uh, attach the arms, and I think this set is going to be a. Uh, let's see. Is she? Ghost that book she's standing next to flips through. This order is for ah some uh, some spiked rollers. It's like a a, a a cylinder with 
like spikes attached to it and it spins it's for uh like uh demolishing houses buildings i see i see yeah so uh who uh i guess bim knows you guys you got how how long have uh how long have you guys known bim A day. <laughs> of of course. <sighs> oh, of course. Uh, Is that a problem? Uh, n- no, n- no. Uh, Bim has just always been rather trusting. Uh, but if uh, she's gone this far to. Anyways, uh, I see why she came to me. Um, yeah, so what's with the outfits? This armor protects me. Right, but like, from what? Are you from like the... The, the outsides, or you could say that I'm, I'm from I'm from far from here. Right. Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. I don't really care that much. Um. Oh, but did you find him, Bim? It's like. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, guys, guys, uh, these are for you. And she pulls out uh, from her pocket these four little black coins uh, that glisten uh, with a tint of crimson. Uh Immediately, I'm down on a knee to be on her level, and I ask her, where? Where did you get this? Uh, on to Bim? Yes. Uh, Bim's like, uh, well, I got him from Tink. That's what I just went and grabbed. Do you, do you know what this is? Unfortunately, I think I do. Oh, so then here. And she hands you one. Uh, I use my cloak. I let, it, I let it drop and I use my cloak to cover my hand and then I I don't touch it directly. Uh, you you can't use it like that. Do you, I <laughs> you're so silly. Uh, here and she hands uh, each of you the the remaining three coins. Uh, to which she says, like, like this. And she pulls another one out of her pocket and flicks the coin up into the air to where it, and it like, super fast. And a, like, flash of light comes out of it. And all of a sudden she's wearing full uh, leather and hide armor. And there's a little, like, uh, bloodstone, like, necklace that she has. And she's like, let's do, it's like, it's like that. Uh, and then she kind of just grabs the little bloodstone pendant and just tugs on it. And it, like, snaps in a, uh, 
this energy as uh, the armor she's wearing like fades away. See, so so you guys don't have to, you know, like be wearing that stuff around all the time. Wait, so do we each have one of those right now? You each do indeed have a coin. I flip it in the air. Uh, whatever is on your person that you use to defend yourself goes into this little coin as it lands in your hand uh, and you are standing there um, you don't really you don't really wear armor right yeah, that's, that's why I'm curious yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, what what goes armor. away for you is uh, like your your staff that you carry around like it's just out out of sight now. Gotcha. Now, flick it again. Uh, go ahead and flick it again. Uh, as you flick it again, you whoosh, your your staff appears behind you, and you're wearing this this thin chain necklace with a uh, a little pendant on it uh, that is a bloodstone which is now it, you just t- give it a little tug and it'll 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 psh- and you don't have to like be carrying it around with you all the time you just kind of keep that with you you know what i mean but but i have to carry this coin now well, I mean, yeah, but it's a lot less conspicuous to carry a coin than it is to walk around with a staff. What's wrong with the staff? It's just, it's just weird, man. Does nobody have staffs anymore? Uh, no, not, not really. No. I mean, I'm sure that people do, but like, we don't really see people like walking around with like weapons and stuff, like kind of like a you're going to creep people out uh, you defend yourself then well when I need to I and she flicks the coin and her armor whoosh, comes back on I, you know for, for when I need it not like just all the time Is the only way to activate it flipping, uh, flicking the coin? Uh, Tink's like working on the, the the vehicle. She's like, uh, I mean, you can either flick it or you could like spin it. Like if it's you know you're on a table or something like that, it just needs the momentum. And she's like, bang, 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 just smacking this thing. That, that sounds like more work than just holding my staff. Hey, whatever. If you don't want it, I'll take it back. Bim's like, no, no, please, just let him, just, just keep it, just keep it. It's yours. It's a gift. Keep it. Thank. What is this material? Uh, thinks like, uh, that's that's the bloodstone. As she's like working this wrench. Uh. Ah, and she like breaks something off and you see uh, on the ground uh, this like softball sized chunk of the bloodstone. She's like, ah, okay. And she sets that in the corner, goes up and like kind of crawls part like into the, the vehicle uh, and like click, 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 click. And then another piece like... <laughs> comes out of the front. I would love to get you in a game, Wiz. I would love to get you in a game. 
Uh, summer's about to come. I'm about to be out of school, and I'm about to be doing more stuff all the time. This bloodstone. It's something that you mine for OA? Oh, uh, no, I don't. I don't mine it. Uh, no, that's 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 not me. Uh, no, I just I have access to it. I use it to fuel the machines. I don't really need to tell you that. Uh, uh, Bim, you 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 got what you needed, right? I was like, uh, yep. Uh, Alphon, thanks. Uh, thanks again for for bringing this. Uh, and she runs up and gives Alphon a hug. <sighs> I love you, Dad. And runs back to her book to look at a note real quick. Uh, yeah, you guys are you guys are gonna have to have to get going. Uh, I I have I have a lot of work to do, and this this one's due in the morning. So, um, uh, it was really nice to meet you guys. You too, Tink. Thank you for the gift. Yeah, enjoy. Uh, don't uh, don't do anything dumb, but definitely, uh, you know, get some get some clothes. Uh, Bim Alphon uh, motion for you guys to uh, walk out with them. Father. Thanks, Tink. This thing's awesome. Uh, I'd try it out right now, but we don't want to see what's going on under this plate. Yeah, please. If there's nothing going on under there, I, that's that's. I appreciate no, Tink, you. No wonders, though. We're good. I'll that's just walk out. okay. Uh, and so you guys. Uh, leave the garage uh and uh bim is like uh where are you guys headed are you guys headed back home i think so right alphon's like uh that's that was my, my plan uh if you guys would like to uh do something else uh, feel free i'm not your keeper uh bim i'm not your keeper anymore either remember so, yeah i i know i know i can i can be my own person and do my own thing i just i just like i just like being with you i know a little bit let's go uh, and he like puts his arm around bim kind of gives her a little uh a little noogie and uh they start walking stride and stride We probably definitely need Justin to talk, right? Woo, Starsky with that sub. Yes. Gifting. I have many questions. You're the best, Starsky. Yeah, we have a lot to discuss. Uh, so do you guys head back to the lily pad with Bim and Alphon, or do you guys want to take the long route? Uh, you guys do have a uh, a map. Um, the I'm gonna open up the map real quick. Uh, Tink's garage is um, a block down from where. Uh, Bim met you guys. Um, it's that big square next to the circle with the dot in it and the little squiggle. Or at what time is it? Uh, it is. It is. It is now like sun is down. 
Oh, I think, I mean, I think we should go with them because he was talking about not wanting to go to that place at night. So I'd rather walk with that sort of them. That's fine. Yeah, I'll walk back with them. Uh, because it is nighttime, you guys notice that the, the route that Alphon takes is a lot more direct. Um, there's a lot more places to uh, hide and duck into the, the shadows if uh, car sounds are, are coming. Um, uh, but yeah, in like uh, an hour, you guys make it back to uh, the lily pad. Uh, what do you what do you guys do? Do we have like privacy from uh from like Any, anybody? Just, just us. Um, yeah, like can we maybe walk the lake? Yeah, you guys can certainly uh certainly walk the lake. Um As you guys depart from the uh, from the lily pad, um, you guys look back and you see Alphon uh, up on the roof um, with his bow drawn, and he's just looking out over the lake towards the forests beyond. His bow's drawn. Uh, he has it in his hand. Yeah. Yeah, he's not like got an arrow knocked, but gotcha, Bo gotcha. is out. It's like, what you doing over there? <laughs> you just going up? So what happened, Athar? I was taken to see the council. And they knew you? They knew me. They didn't know where I was. They don't, they still don't know that I'm not on their side. Wait, is this the same council from our time? From Ravnica. How? Orzov. How are they still alive? The council is they're immortal basically yeah er you become <laughs> a council member if you're a descendant of one of these people and they are basically immortal uh erthar you know that the uh the council that that runs the orzov is uh full of undead sp spectral beings that were so wanting to keep their treasures and their money and their want for that was so strong that they couldn't let go to the point that they are just that they are they are undead very much not alive and they are after this bloodstone what I'm confused about is if there's bloodstone being passed around how does OA not know about it or is there another one? I guess they want us to go get this bloodstone for them? That is correct. 
they tasked me with finding it and bringing it back to them. And do we know where to start? Nope. They said scour every corner of this city. It is in this city. Did we get any sort of protection from them or secret access or? They referred to me as the as the prodigal member, so I think we have some leeway. Okay, that's great. But they work with Coven things, so. In fact, I would, I would bet a lot of money that Coven Bane was in that room. Well, this is this is good. This helps us. Yes, right now we have the cards. It seems, unless I was deceived. I mean, we shouldn't trust them at all, but at least we know that we're not going to be hunted by them. Right now, they don't see us as a threat, and I think that gives us some freedom. We need to find this bloodstone, and fast. Yeah, we don't have to give it to them. Right. What would happen if we destroyed it? Uh, I, I don't know. We, we have to keep it out of their hands. Do you even know how to destroy it? No. But if it can be... Does these, do these coins seem like they've been molded into that? Or if they were just kind of cut perfectly? Or... or... Uh, give, me, give me an investigation. Or Arcana check. Uh, it looks like it has been, uh, perfectly cut. Well, it seems these people have the tools to cut it. We can destroy it. Well, didn't Tink have bloodstone in her cars? Yeah, she mentioned it feels them. I mean, it seems that it's it's common. It's very confusing why they would want. My best guess is it's either a second stone or a very, very large deposit of stone that has not been found yet. Or maybe it's like a better stone or something. Uh, Succus, give me a history check with advantage. love to see that. Arya was wearing a necklace. On that necklace was a key that looked to be made of the same material as these coins. Uh, I, I think I might know a bit more about my vision and dream. What? Uh, so, so you know that like pop singer, box girl, earlier. Yeah, the one that orphans are all being read about. Yeah. Uh, so she popped in. She, I had like a vision, and uh, she, she was uh, present. But uh, her face was um, not the face that you saw or we saw today. It was actually uh, Coven Bane's. What? Yeah, no, I, I didn't say anything because um, I figured it might have been the, sh the shrooms and the honey. Um, but today, more or less confirmed it wasn't the shrooms or the honey. Aerithar just puts his hands on his face. 
<sighs> so the go is covered bane? Uh I don't know. But um if, if my memory and vision serves me correct, um she she might be wearing the thing that we might be seeking. But if Kevin Bain was in the council, then why would that matter? If he's the girl, and then she has that, but he's in the council, so they ask us to get it. I, I don't think he's the girl. In my vision, I saw all of them in a room. I will remind you all that when uh, you guys were talking to the deity for this plane that turned into the lock that Adam has on his possession. The lock? God. Continue, sorry. There uh, was information shared with you that uh, Faulkner split his essence into seven keys. Right, I have one of them. No, you have the lock. Oh, wait, I have to lock in. Pieces are coming together. Take that information, do what you will with it. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Well, I mean, it is, is it? But, it, but it isn't. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> so we know of one of the seven pieces, potentially. We have a lead. That's better but, than what we had two minutes ago. Why? You, you do realize that she's going to be hard to, like, single out. Boom. Oh. If they cared so much about it, why wouldn't they just take it from her? Maybe they don't know what it is. I doubt that. Or are they waiting for all of them to come together and she's got the final piece? It seems risky to let that just be out there of somebody if it's some part of them. She has to be playing a role in this somehow. There's one surefire way to figure out what it is. Do you think the council has shared some of their magic or their immortality with Coverbane and perhaps my sister? Um, can it be like, shared? No. As far as I know, only the, the descendants of the council can become council in their life. It's very if, you're not, if you're not one of their descendants, there's a a maximum rank you can reach. This girl shouldn't be too hard to follow being uh, a singer of some sorts. Uh, I don't I don't know when her next show is, but um before I read into you guys, uh, I was somewhat tracking her, and before she dashed towards the OA headquarters, <coughs> she was talking with uh, uh, this lady with like fire red hair, and then she ran off in the opposite direction. Would you be able to recognize this person if you saw her again? Uh, pretty easily. Well, maybe we have two leads. 
We need to figure out a way to get in contact with the singer. And we need to find this red-headed woman. I mean, honestly, we need to figure out more about this bloodstone. Where it comes from. I'm curious what Coven Bane and my sister's role was in that. Why would the council need them? Need might be a strong word there. What I know about the council, they're very likely thinking in private that they have the upper hand at all times. I'm sure Kevin Brand thinks the same way. I'm sure he does. Maybe we can use that. Yeah, we need to find a way to turn them against each other. Do you think it's time we, we add some uh, some friends to our group and let uh, Afan and maybe them know more? Because, I, I mean, Affine has said that he is against them, so he may know people uh, in the city that could help us. We should keep the information we give them to the minimum. We can't really give them a lot of whys. Just that we're looking for certain things. But we could give them hope. That puts them in danger too, though. Yes. Why? Yeah, I feel like that's not a good way to repay them for what they've done for us so far. I think we need to keep them out of the loop for as much as possible for now until we learn more. It does seem. Unless he's been hiding something from us, which I don't think that's who he is, he doesn't really know anybody that could help this. I mean, we've given him nothing. Why would he give us? You know what I mean? We did give him lots. We gave him more food than he's seen in years. That's very true. Bim would be the person we're going to have to ask. Most likely. Yeah. Him or his daughter. True. Did any of you know he had a daughter? No. Uh, not until uh, just earlier. She was weirdly aggressive. And she works for them. So it seems that she just works and happens to be for them. Yeah, it seems more like a, to make ends meet. I don't think she's like a... Yeah, you think. Where's the vibe I got? We also shouldn't pride too much into that. It's where we start. With the go? Uh, we the the one guard he mentioned. She does shows frequently in the south. Maybe we uh, we go and try to find where her next show is. That's a start. I would also like to know the city a lot more. I was thinking. We were going to have to map it out manually. But maybe I can just get a map from you're OA. An, you're an agent of the OA. I'm going to have to utilize this as much as possible. That so should be your oyster. 
that seems like the perfect time to introduce our week of downtime that we are going to have. What I'm going to give each of you guys a, a chance to think about what kind of things you want to do over this next week, uh, gathering information wise or what, whatever it is that, that you guys would like to do. Uh, but first things first, um, Arathar. Yes, sir. Uh, I am going to need from you a one second. Let me find out what kind of dice it is. An intimidation roll. Uh, no, just a D eight for me, please. Intimidating D eight. Okay. Uh, one second. A five. It's above average D eight. So you, uh, give me one more. Oh, okay. So throughout the course of this week, uh, you have free reign to do what you will. However, the uh, the need to keep up appearances with the ores of has uh, granted you two contacts. Uh, one of which um, is a vampire. That who has kind of become sort of uh, like a, a rival to you in the sense that he tried to uh, use you as a pawn in, in one of his schemes. Uh, but you saw right through it and intimidated him out of being being his, his tool, if you will. Uh, so you, you, you gained a rival in your organization. However, you also gained an ally. Uh, oh no, really? An, ally? an angel that you offer tribute to as you enter into OA headquarters. Uh, she has taken a, a bit of a liking to you um, and would, would even... Keeps happening. <laughs> uh, she has she has taken your kindness and is has begun to uh, reciprocate it back. Uh, will you give me a d10 roll, please? What's this angel's name? Does she have a name yet? Uh, I will let you pick the name of the your rival, your ally, and... Um, da, 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 da. There is also a uh, a shopkeeper that you have met uh, that tries to make sure that um, Orzov's secrets stay Orzov's secrets. He's kind of like a point of contact for you. Got it. Uh, and then um, you have one renown with the Orzov Syndicate right now. So you will need to keep track of that on your character sheet. Uh, and you have earned the title of or you are referred to throughout the OA as Arathar the Enforcer. 
Oh, shit. Command a little bit of respect around here. You hear that, guys? Enforcer. On that note, <laughs> uh, we will uh, we'll go around the horn real quick and and uh, kind of figure out what everybody everybody else been doing. Uh, Gus, what what about you? What's what's your main focus over this next week? Or do you want to you know help somebody else in what what you guys open open conversation? Um, what, what is it that you guys would like to try to figure out or accomplish over this next week? I mean, I kind of feel like I want to be on Coffin Bane, just trying to figure out, like, anything on him. Not that I know where he works. Hopefully I can see if he ever leaves the building kind of thing. Okay. So you so tell tell me what that looks like over the course of a week. Uh, is it it's in the nicer area? Well, I guess I I guess I would go try to. Uh... Hmm. I can give you my week. Give people time to think. Yeah, that's all you. What you got all for right, me, Arthur? First, first day going in, asking for a map. They don't have a map. That's gonna really suck for me. I'm gonna have to make a map. Uh, I don't have a whole map of the city because it's, to be honest, not entirely fleshed out yet. But what I will tell you is that you you have a map that you can access. Um, give me a. Let's do a uh, either insight or investigation. Okay. So what you can tell from this map and using that to kind of figure out the city, am I right in assuming that that's kind of your main focus? for this week or well that was before I found out that I actually have some authority here I okay. wanted my my want was to understand the city inside it out from a security standpoint I wanted to know uh, patrol routes times all that stuff I wanted to know how to stay out of everyone's eyes at any point in time okay so I will but if I could just get that information in like a day, an afternoon, I could still ask for it. So what I will what I will give you for for free, no no roles required, is you have this feeling like it's almost like you're back on Ravnica. Like you are the low man on the totem pole. But you're on the totem pole. If that makes sense. Oh, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, there is a plethora of people that are in the syndicate that are above your station. But as far as the average citizen goes, you hold a... Uh, you are a step above them in the hierarchy of this society. And you, if, if your Orzov flag is flying, for lack of a better term, uh, people will treat you as such. Time to don my my Orzov vestments. 
you you do know, however, that when you when you are wearing those, should another member of the syndicate approach you, you unless you are on the same level as them, they are above you and need right, to be right, need right. to be treated as such. Um, I will also tell you just from having a map that, uh, you know, that the city is primarily divided into four sectors, uh, referred to as the North side, South side, East side, and West side. Uh, they all come together in a, uh, a big downtown inner city area, uh, which is where you guys traveled to the, the tower at. Um, if you would like to spend this week trying to get more information about one of those uh, sectors of the city, uh, I will let you do that. Um, it's going to take longer than a week to get a bead on everything as this city is quite large okay if you would like to get a like a general idea of the districts we can do that as well uh you're not going to get near as much detailed information uh but you will get a better understanding of how the city functions as a whole i suppose We're we're next to the district that does all the the mining, essentially. Yeah, you guys are on the north side. Um, from what you guys have seen, uh, you have seen no mining. What you have seen is uh, like factories processing plants. Uh, what looks to be like uh, military barracks. And things like that um training grounds uh in industrial facilities okay then my first thought would be to go ask bim if bim can't tell me then then uh, alpha and if alec Barn can't tell me then tink would be my order of asking where this bloodstone comes from Okay, so so that is that is your going to be your focus over the week. Yes, I need to know where the people are getting this bloodstone. Okay, uh, give me a. Let's do. Uh, well, what's what's your investigation? Negative one. Yep. Okay, so I'll I will I will take the the twelve you rolled for your insight, or you can try to roll again. It's up to you. Shit, <laughs> just taking the twelve. <laughs> you know I can't do uh, I have an option. So. What, roll die. what you find out over the course of the the week is that Bloodstone is mined all around the world. However big that may be. All the mining operations that are done for bloodstone are ran by the oa the level of your renown does not give you enough clearance or information to know exact locations or any really vital information when it comes to the bloodstone but you do find out that tink 
has a special permission to get bloodstone because she uses it on her war machines that she makes for the OA. Can I find out if it is being mined here in this city? On a five, probably not. Understood. Uh, Not out of the question, but you have no proof that that is happening. Ground boys, <laughs> let's go. Uh, who uh, who would like to keep the discussion going? Adam, Suckus. I have some some things. Okay. First and foremost, number one, I'd like to try to as much as I can get like what the public knows about uh Kevin Bain's wife. Okay. Um yeah. Whatever that may be. Name, does she go out? Is she public? Um whatever so, I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Sure. Uh so give me uh give me a persuasion check. pretty good that is very good uh so i will say this you now know for sure that that is not your sister the reason why you know that is because over the course of the week, you did go to the the bank and exchanged out your coins, as did the rest of you. So all of yeah. your all all of your yeah, thank you. yeah, all of your gold, silver, whatever whatever you have now directly translates to the the world that that you're currently Future in. Future monies. Adam, your sister, for sure is on the gold coins. Her face is on the gold coins. And it says uh, I forgot the title. But basically it says like Queen Raykrana. Like in Raykrana we trust sort of thing. Like her, she is on she is the face of the money. Uh, you are able to determine further that that is not your sister that was up on the screen, but it is her direct ancestor. What that like? Descendant, you mean? Yeah, yeah, descendant, not ancestor. That's the opposite. Um. From what you've gathered from the general populace, uh, her lineage, uh, the the OA, uh, and her have been intertwined for since the the merging of the the planes and uh, before. The last great war. You know that there has been some questions as to the uh, uh, like Coven Bane's stance on the whole thing, like his public perception persona. Um, but your 
your sister has been the forefront leading member of the VOA since before anyone else was has been born. That and it has been very public that uh, her daughter would succeed in her position. Interesting. So it's not my sister, you fuckers. I didn't think it was in the first place. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's baiting my sister. Yeah, whatever. Screw you guys. It's just my my niece or whatever. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it's fucking worse, objectively. <laughs> um. Uh. Anything else that you would like to have done throughout, throughout your week? Yeah. So, uh, great, perfect. I got coins. Um, do we need to like? We just assume that all coins we have from now on are going to be in that currency. We don't need to borrow something special in inventory, or whatever. Correct. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. The only coin you need to have separate is the the blood cell coin. Oh, I need that inventory. Um. So the second thing I wanted to do was see if I could. I don't remember if we talked about this, and maybe we can like we can flavor some shit. Um, mm-hmm. But I have two two spells that require material components that I don't have. So I'd like to try to figure out something for those. I can DM you the details of that. Uh, yeah, it, it'll probably just be like you buying them. Yeah. 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 Um. So third thing, I wanted to see if if I could talk to to Tink or somebody else about the coin, and if there's a way that the coin could be modified, that we could just shazam this shit. So like we're already wearing the armor, and it's not a coin. Like action? You mean like voice activate it? Yeah. Uh, or that we can uh, be wearing it and have it work? I'm worried about losing my coin. <laughs> I don't know my shit yeah, in my yeah. coin. Uh, give me uh, give me an investigation. Oh, yep. Uh, you know thank you, that uh, unfortunately there is no real other way to get the coins to activate and function. Um, yeah. There. Okay. Go ahead. That was all. Uh- Okay. And then the last thing, I just wanted to see if there's any like odds and ends type stuff that I could do to make money that doesn't revolve me being in a death factory warehouse. Uh, Does no relationship uh, to Aerothorm mean anything, by the way? But am I part of like, his entourage? Um, Arthur actually it, doesn't know that you've never been mentioned. <laughs> they know you. Uh, it. I mean, you. You tell me. the The more, the closer you associate yourself with Arthur in his daily tasks, the more the the Orzov will see you as someone that is working with the Orzov. So oh, absolutely, so, I would do that. Then I would try to help Arthur. Uh, they will definitely address Arthur. Like they won't. They, oh, I'm inside yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, they they and they yeah they treat they treat you as such. They 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 show you little respect in like face-to-face conversations they th- 
think they're above you and act like it. It's it's not like completely out of pocket, out of place. It might rub you the wrong way every once in a while. But you know that like making an issue of it would only bring more heat. And so what there what there is going on right now is enough. You know that uh, with Arathar's continued support of the Orzov, he will grow in in rank, thus opening your doors up a little bit, maybe. But when if if you were to walk into the OA headquarters, it would not be, you would not get oh, the no. same reception. No, no, it's like, could I go? I don't know, fucking. Somewhere and be like, hey, I'm that guy's friend. You got anything for me? Like that type of thing? Uh, probably not. Wait. I thought you were an enforcer. Hey, I am, I'm known around the world, Arthur the Enforcer. Oh. Around the road now, are you? Right, right, around the road. Okay, sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> you mean carry your carry your armor for you? Oh no, I got this coin for that. Um, that's all I can really think of. I might. That was about easier than I was thinking it was gonna be. So. Yeah, I mean, I might DM you if an idea of something simple later. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Uh, that leaves us with Succus and Gus. Uh, the main thing I want to do is basically, uh, investigate some more in the southern part. Uh, sure. see, see if there's, uh, like what type of, like, venues, bars, taverns, whatever, um, that play shows. Uh, see if there's any, like, flyers or whatever for Aria. Basically figure out the schedule. Okay. Uh, give me either a, a perception, insight, or investigation. Perception, insight, or investigation? Mm-hmm. Glad you guys' week's going way better than mine. Oh, it's okay. You're the enforcer. True. I don't need high rolls. Uh, so, Succus, what you uh, learn of the the south side and uh, Arya's presence there, um, she is practically worshipped in the south side of the city. Uh, everybody says that she is the most kind-hearted, uh, empathetic bard that anybody has ever can, can remember. Um, you also know that along with doing shows and concerts, she makes very regular public appearances. Uh, she is um, fiercely vocal about uh, things on the, the south side of the city. Um, and uh, you know that the south side of the city is uh, like uptown. It is very white collar. Um, this is where the highborns live. This is where the the uh, like the spectacles live. Um, they work and have shops and stuff like that in downtown. 
but they live on the south side. Gotcha. Um, Arya is a like a skilled diplomat. She is like solving problems in in the city if there's any sort of uh, commotion or anything like that. Um, she quells that drama pretty quickly. Um, give give me an investigation as well, please. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you notice often accompanying Arya are uh, the the two people that you saw in the suits. Uh, one of them appears to be her manager. The other one, like her PR person. Gotcha. Um, I will say that there is also a, like, as much as you see fans of Arya, um, it seems like at every show there is at least <clears throat> one small group of protesters that are quickly dismissed. Um, but they're the down with the man types. On a three, that's all I can give you. Gotcha. Uh, in in uh, learning more about Arya and her whereabouts and stuff around the south side, do I notice the uh, flame-haired lady at all? Yes, yes, you do. Um, you also see her at most of the shows. Any that have uh, like a real, um, like a, a stage show, um, she is there. Um, you don't see her during the show. Um, but you notice that she's not around anytime. It's just like, like a open mic situation sort of thing. Like, but if, if it's, if it's a big performance, she's there. Gotcha. Uh, and, and when she is there, uh, do I notice, is she accompanied by anyone or is it just her? Uh, give me a, give me a perception check. Man, killing it. Uh, she seems to hang around with uh, this boisterous little kobold a lot. Every time, like, they they often show up together, either in the same car or um, they greet each other very, very, very friendly. Um, when they see each other. Gotcha. Um, it's pretty much all, all I kind of wanted to get out of the next week. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Is, is there any like, is there any like uh, flyers or anything of like upcoming shows or events that she'll be at? Uh, so that, like possibly like you know laying on the ground or or anything like that that I can grab one or something. Yeah. So, uh, she does, um, like a show every other day, whether it's like uh. From what you've noticed, it looks like there's like one big performance during the week and then smaller performances throughout the week. Um, 
as she bounces around the the city um you do get like a a schedule of of upcoming gigs that she has and the majority the vast majority are in the south side gotcha um there is a a couple sprinkled throughout the month that will be in, in different uh parts of the city but yeah you know that you know that you could find find one of her shows uh any any day almost okay uh da -da -da. gus that brings us back full circle yeah uh so i think i'd probably be hanging next to the what is it, the, the, the ao building the, IO building. the, the um, oa oa well yeah that one um yeah, basically just trying to like see who's coming in and out, seeing if I see anyone else like it, from the visions coming in, and basically trying to get a read on if any of them also have keys. Um, I kind of wanted to try. Yeah, basically just I, I just want to case the building, like see if there's any other ways to get in or out. Um, I was kind of thinking like just doing like weird stuff <laughs> um like there's like meld into stone like just weird spells like where i can just hide into like stone services okay um, like detect magic just to see if i i can actually well yeah i don't i don't really think i'm really going to get in the building unless there's like other entrances give me an arcana check all right Uh, okay. So, what you know about the building itself is that it is made with bloodstone material. It is not made out entirely of bloodstone, but there is things in the the foundation of this building that you know is fueled by bloodstone, whether it be like anti-magic fields or uh, something, something of that sort. Uh, this, this building is designed to be as close to impenetrable as possible. You do know that there are multiple ways in and out of the building. There's obviously the main door that uh, you guys went through. There is the, uh, like the recruitment office, uh, which you guys saw as you came into the town square. There is also uh, on the opposite side of the, the building, uh, an attached bank where they, uh, it, the, the buildings are attached. Um, without going inside and like getting a full tour of the place, you, you wouldn't know to what extent they are linked together, but there's no alleyway in between them. They are the same building. Uh, give me a perception check, please. How much is a uh, nice pair of clothing? Well, not nice, but uh, non. Clothes are not expensive. Uh, I want to say like a gold piece for like a an outfit. Um, I will look up how much they are. Um, if y'all want to buy, if you want to buy new clothes, you you certainly can. Um, uh, I will say I just, that. Oh, go ahead. I just want a big cloak. Big, big, cloak. big cloak. I like it. Uh, on the fifteen perception, looking for people going in and out. Uh, I will say that you had the uh, the vision, like the scrying vision, 
where you saw um, Coven Bane and the others, uh, including Arya. And you have seen all of them at one point or another throughout the week go into OA headquarters. So can I use... Uh, can I use locate objects to see if I can, like, detect if they have, the, like, keys on them? Like, the one that we saw? Um, well, I don't know that you personally saw one. When she was, oh, was she not wearing it as a necklace when she walked in? Well, Succus was chasing her around the city for a little while. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, no problem. Well, give me give me an investigation. It's going to be a, a DC 17. Okay. So you don't know if they have keys or not. Yeah, I guess I'd probably... I mean, depending if it was separate days, like I would maybe try to follow them just to kind of see if I could understand the routines or at least like sure. kind of like where the type of thing. So on on a fourteen, I will tell you that uh, those people that you saw with Coven Bane are uh, essentially the leaders of the districts. Um. The lady that runs the north side, um, her name is Rowan Silvermist. Um, the uh, green fellow with the green and pink hair, um, his name is Tristan Oakwood. And he runs uh, the east side. Yes, the east side. Uh, Arya runs the south side. Uh, and the... Uh, uh, Furbolg is his name is Lysander Thorne, and he runs things on the west side of the city. Uh, is there one of them that you would like to try to get more information on? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go with Tristan. I, li I like the hair. Tristan, okay. Seems maybe a little bit kind of, you know, thicker, so it might be easier. Uh, so, you know, well, give me, give me an insight check. Uh, on a 10, you know that Tristan runs the east, the Eastern District. Um, and he uh, is very, very loyal to Coven Bane. Um, you also know that he has... Uh, there's 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 gangs that run around on the uh, on the, the east side, and uh, all of the gang leaders report to him. Give me give me one more investigation. Uh, 
Um, give me a D4. Okay. Uh, you know that the, the east side uh, there is a lot of health problems of people living on the east side as pollution from the north side uh, gets blown down uh, and is really messing up how how life functions for people on the on the east side. Um, you do get the name of one of the uh, the gang leaders on the east side um, he runs a uh, like basically like a, a graffiti street gang sort of thing uh, like they call themselves artists but they really just run around like tagging stuff all the time um, their leader is, uh, a human fellow named Clips Kingsley. Clips, I like it. K-L-I-P-Z. Kingsley. Uh... Yeah, anything else that you would like to do throughout the week? Um, I th I, I'd kind of like to hang out just like nights with, uh, with Brim and, uh, and Athen. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, just kind of, uh, not, you know, not divulging much, but just kind of getting to know them, like life stories, kind of just helping around sure okay just gaining trust uh yeah you definitely build up a bit of a, a rapport with with alfon and bim uh you all i'll say free no no role required uh micah the uh, the aquatic fella that you guys met when you first went to the lily pad uh him and bim are uh an item and uh Micah also lives at the lily pad. Uh, I will say that you also find out that um, Alphon raised Bim and Tink. Uh, he kind of rescued them together. They consider each other sisters. Um, he took them off the streets um, and Bim decided to stay and uh, actually give me an insight. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as far as you know, Bim decided to stay and not pursue a career with the OA. However, Tink did, uh, and she uh, was highly recruited as somewhat of a mechanical prodigy. And that will wrap up our, our week of, of downtime. Uh, I will ask that uh, if you guys are uh, going to be um, using the the, uh, the bloodstone coins, um, just go through on Hero Forge and show me what kind of clothes you bought, uh, so I can uh, just like have have new little little thingies to build scenes with for you guys. Um, 
I would greatly appreciate it. If not, I'll just dress you up myself. Uh, suck as I know you're naked. You know. I was like, but, can I just submit yeah. <laughs> character, but without the staff? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, uh, I'll definitely send you one, but I'm also interested how you dress, how you dress Erdar. Kind of interested in that. All right, that's that's fair. Yeah, I, I will. Uh, yeah, you guys, you know, send me what what you think you would you would dress like, uh, and you know, I'll I'll make one too because I have copies of all your guys' characters, and I'll uh, I'll send that to to you guys as well. Um, one last thing before we we wrap this up here, uh, you guys uh, have have exchanged food for the people at the lily pad for, um, to, in order to, to stay there, uh, for the past week. Um, so on a typical night, a week has passed since you guys left the, uh, OA headquarters. Um, you guys are all tucked in, got your bedrolls going at the lily pad. Bim's passed out. Alphonse passed out. Mike is sleeping in the water. You guys are all upstairs. Uh, Adam, you're like finishing up your your meditation. Everybody else is is asleep, and you you feel a little like tickle on like your your backside not like your butt but like your back <laughs> um and as you kind of come out of your your trance um you see this 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 insect looking creature uh let me pull up a note real quick so i can describe it better No, man, so please. This isn't, this isn't the same insect that screwed us over in the other campaign, is it? No, no, no. He loves those sneaky one hit KOs, dude. Let's somehow get on an airship. Or just... Noon's not dead, I'm just saying. Yeah, he's just in a cocoon somewhere. He is alive. <laughs> he's got like three lives left out of his nine. Uh, you see this? Uh, it so it is like it it falls off your back, and it's this small little amorphous blob of like crystal, roughly the size of like a grate, and it like glitters and shimmers as the 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 moonlight comes through the open windows as it like bounces off it it reflects its surroundings like a tiny little prism um and it starts as it falls it like shudders and it begins to like pulse with this otherworldly energy uh and it zooms towards the window like climbs up the ledge and just like starts pulsing you hear like the sound of like dragging uh, against uh, a wooden surface and you see that uh, from the other side across the uh, across the boat uh more of these 
little creatures come climbing up over the window sills and just as they do that uh, what do you do? Uh, how am I close to like any of the the residents of this time? So Bim or uh, Bim is, Bim is asleep in her little her little cove there, um, and Alphon is uh, asleep in his in his cabin. Uh, the other party members are asleep uh, on their bedrooms. And where relatively like here? Like where am I seeing uh, these things at? Uh, well, give me a perception check. Uh, they are starting to come in from just about all of the windows. Uh, I've run over to Bim and shake her awake. Uh, okay. Yeah, she wakes up like, oh, what? What's up? Bim, Bim, what are these things? Oh. Oh, no. Everybody, wake up! Uh... And I need all of you to uh, roll initiative for me as you wake up, and we will end right there. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. We appreciate you. That was fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I knew I knew you guys weren't gonna die. I knew you guys Me too. Die. We didn't know that. No, I didn't. knew it all. <laughs> no, 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 you, didn't. You, had, you had two characters ready to go. Well, yeah. And big ups, love you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate Listen, you. How did we not fight those people? I'm. I we'll mean, be back next I Monday. Don't, I don't know how we do. Violence isn't always. Get the answer to that question. You know, if we would have fought in there, we would have been dead. And more. Yeah. Next time. Goddamn civilized order, right? Of the towering timbers. You just turned around stabbing people for the hell of it. But at least, you know, I know where the Orzov Council meets. Yeah, that worked out fantastic. Yeah, yeah, kind of nice. They were happy to see me instead of uh, the opposite. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't betray them back in our time yet. I know. You were about to. You were the whole close. time. Like, I didn't even think about the fact they didn't know that. <laughs> That's how long it was. Real close. <laughs>